All right. Well, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. I mean, there's the th the thing that's really cool about the auto crafters is they open up all kinds of possibilities, right? Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG. And we've rolled over into the trees stage. That uh, just happened when I was out and about. Uh, the other thing that happened when I was out and about is we learned the air filter. So let's go ahead and get that made first. Uh, the air filter reduces our oxygen consumption, but doesn't completely stop it. Um, and it looks like we're going to have to make that in here. Yep, right there. Okay, so let's pin that. Oh, methane cartridge, right. Um, we still need to make that gas extractor. And we can now do that. We were being held up by lack of super alloy. But uh, now we have a good supply of that going on. I, I just went over to the super alloy extractor and grabbed a bunch of those out of there. Um, oh yeah, the pinned recipe is the air filter. Okay, so we actually want to pin this first. Two Zeos and an Iridium Rod. Okay, so let's see. I Where do I want to put this? I like it to be near the bio lab. Can we put it? I think it's got to be on the ground though, doesn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I guess, yeah, that wouldn't make sense because it's pulling stuff out of the air anyway, not out of the ground. Um... So let's put it right in the center here, pull it out a bit, uh, because I I may make a second one and put next to it as well. Fantastic. Okay, so we just need to let that do its thing for a bit, because uh, we're going to need one methane to um, uh, to do the, uh, the air filter. Right. Okay, so let's see. I've made a few more fertilizer. I made a few... I set up a new... Um, locker here put and made some bacteria with some of the algae that I had and so that's been going on and uh, let's see where are we do how are we doing things here did we get some did we get a pressure fuse we did uh, no that's a heat fuse not a pressure fuse okay why don't we launch a couple more plants rockets then to, to continue boosting our, our biomass. Uh, we'll put that in there. And let's see, I know the plants rockets required um, some, oh, we got the auto crafter. Nice, very nice. All right, that might change our plans for this episode. Um, well, okay, let's finish doing the biomass rockets. I want to do those regardless. So I know they need a lerma seed and a bark, I believe. Do we have two bark ready to go? We do. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. And I think they need a super each. I mean, I really wish we could access the rocket. I know I say that all the time. The rocket launcher recipe close to home. We were thinking about... Oh, nice. We got an osmium slash sulfur storm coming in. I don't think that stuff disappears like in two minutes, though, like the supers. Um, okay, so... If we made another one of these closer to home... Uh, we could certainly afford to do that now. Uh, the only reason I didn't earlier is just because super was... Um, you know, so rare at the at that point, and we've got lots of resources for that. So, let's see, we need three titanium and three iron. It's pounding the base, man. All right, now the question is, though, where do we want to put this so it's close by? Maybe we we'll set it over on that island there. Of 
course, a meteorite has to land and dump all its stuff in the way. Alright, that one's not coming towards us. Uh, is it going to let me do this? Well, that was shitty timing. Trying to find any spot to put it at the moment just so I can access the recipe. That fucking meteor <laughs> meteorites. Seriously, Jim? Damn it. Damn it, Jim. There. I'll probably move this closer to the bridge once the debris clears, but this will do the job for the for now. Okay, so we want um Plant spreader rock. Oh, fertilizer. That's what I was missing. Okay. So let's pin that. And go get ourselves two things of fertilizer. I'm actually glad the um, osmium storm came because I'm I, I'm short on sulfur. Sulfur is something that you use a hell of a lot of. Uh, what are we doing? We're getting fertilizer. Nice view out the window there. So this will give our biomass a nice little boost. Well, plants specifically, because that's all we're doing right at the moment. And it doesn't matter if we launch this here because we're not going after uh, meteorites that will come down. Okay, we'll get the first one launched. Up, up, and away. And then the... How did I miscalculate? Oh, right, because we used them to make the launch platform. Duh. <laughs> okay. Two or one, actually. I don't know. We'll take two. Ah, look at all this biomass. All these biomass spores spreading around. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Second plant rocket. Bon voyage. Let's grab this. Should be like two more sulfur pieces. Did they fall down into the canyon? Huh. Here, let's grab this chest. Nice. Uh, especially the mushroom seed. What if you guys were telling me that there is a gold chest here in the canyon? And I don't think I've found that, and I don't know where it's at either. So, we'll keep our eye open for that. Do not tell me in the comments, please. No spoilers. Let me try and find it myself. Appreciate that. Um, okay, I can't pick you up for some reason. There we go. Look at all this sulfur. We'll take it. Sulfur means fertilizer, and it means mutagens, and it means explosives. It's used for a lot of stuff. All right. Since we're down here, let's just peek our head around the corner to see if there are any more meteorites, and we'll grab this as well. Oh, good. Another mushroom seed. Good deal. Good deal, man. Good deal. Now, you would think that a gold chest in this biome would be on top of one of the plateaus, but... 
I've been on all of the plateaus and I haven't noticed that. Alright, can we make it back before we have to take our O2 bottle? I think so. We got this. One thing I've been thinking about doing is taking down all of these just to kind of reduce. Oh, look at the trees over there. That's awesome. I'll bet you the passage is starting to open up now over to the waterfall. Oh, wow. Look, the trees are over there now, too. I just now noticed that. Oh, we're going to have to go check that out. <laughs> I love it. Um, Hey, we got larva, too. Okay. Even better. All right. What was I saying? Um, Oh, just to kind of reduce the amount of stuff that's around the base to help, you know, I, with the crashing. I mean, knock on wood, I haven't had a crash since I, uh, you know, dumbed down the frame rate. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen again. And because it, when it does happen, it tends to happen more often at the base. That would seem to suggest that, um, let's take a drink. It, you know, has something to do with just all of these machines and the animations and everything all happening at once. Uh, we could also take those down with minimal loss of impact, but... Um, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, let's go up here first. We're going to need a bin for larva because we're going to start finding them like crazy. We'll put this bacteria in here. And, uh, except for the larva, everything else goes downstairs. Oh, wait, do I have... Uh, I don't have three iron with me. Grab one more iron. We'll put the Oz in there. The supers can go back in there. Iridium rod here. So I want to I want to start thinking about. Actually, I'm going to plant both of those. So let's pull up two more of you. Because we have such an overage of eggplant. And while we're at it, we'll harvest you guys. And let's also harvest you guys. And we'll eat one of those and we'll eat one of these. Superstorm? No, just purple storm. Okay. I don't remember. Did we get... Uh, purple storms in early access that didn't that weren't also supers. I don't recall. Oh, right, we got to put these flowers in here too. We'll set up a new locker here, and we'll call it Larva. All right, nice. We should be getting the incubator here pretty soon. Let's take a look, see it. Here, let's actually save. Uh, incubator, uh, when we hit five GTI, we're at three right now. So yeah, that's, that's not too far off. And then the water filter, that's gonna be even better when that pops, because then we can just drink from anywhere in the world. Gonna be really good to get that. We should, do we have a methane now? Let's take a look. Huzzah! We got lots of methane. Oh, look at that. Cool. Alright. Um, actually, we need to be having a water in our inventory. We should... Um, we need to make a, a locker for gas, too, because we're going to get a lot of it. So, well, let's do that now. Um, we can put that on this side. Doesn't really matter. Eventually, we'll get the, the really high-end storage. Uh, let's see. We'll put the sulfur in here. 
But that that's gonna that's still a ways off. We're not gonna be getting that immediately. We have to first get our our selling rocket. What what is that called? What is that thing called? It's uh Where is it at? It's the rocket that lets us launch stuff into space and sell product. Is it really that far away? The tier four jetpack is a long ways off. Um, okay, maybe it is back over here. Drone stations a, a ways off, but that's going to change our life in a major way. Yeah, I'm. I'm not seeing the rock. Oh, I wonder if that's a. I wonder if that's a microchip thingy. Yeah, maybe that's. Oh, uh, no, that's the portal. Tier six backpack. That's beautiful. Extraction platform. That's new. Animal shelter. Oh, that stuff's gonna be so cool to see. Yeah, I think that might be. That must be a blue chip thing because uh, a blue. I, I, I'm just gonna call them blue chips, okay? I'm not wrong when I call them that because they are blue and they're chips. They're microchips. Um, that must be a microchip thing because I'm not seeing it in the in the menu. All right. Anyway, let's go back to the air filter. We'll pin that, and uh, we got the methane. We need two bioplastic. Something else I need to make a bend for. We need a fabric, an Oz, and a super. There we go. Okay. So if you look in the lower left-hand corner now, um, basically what that means is that I consume oxygen at 2.2 uh, .2 seconds less than... Um, or it lasts 2.2 .2 seconds longer than it would if I didn't have the filter on. I believe that's what that means. I was a little confused about that in season one, but somebody told me in the comments that, that that's what it translates to. Okay, cool. And the smaller that number gets, the slower my oxygen consumption uh, becomes. So... You, we want to see that number grow smaller and it'll grow smaller as more, you know, oxygen becomes available in the atmosphere. Hey, I just picked you up. What we, uh, what we need, well, we need all of them, of course, but, um, we need the uncommon larvae because that's how we can make the bees. This guy's just like appear out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. How far are we away from bees? It's uh, this one. 80T. Okay. Well, we're, we're on our way there. We, we definitely boosted that. Um, okay, so. We now have an auto crafter. And do we... I think we make that in here. Yes. Okay, so... Here's what I th I want to do for our, our very first production facility. Except for that we're not really... Yeah, it's going to be very... We, we're not really going to be able to fully set this up till we get drones. But we could get it started. So what I'm thinking is that we place this down over at the lake. We put an algae collector down and a water collector and we could have we could have one of these making bacteria because that's water and algae um, let's go upstairs here We could have a 
We could have one making fertilizer if we also install some eggplant. Well, see, the sulfur is going to be the thing that's not, not going to make that work. It'll work once we get drones, because then we can trans, you know, we can transport the sulfur. But until we can do that, we can only have the autocrafter make stuff that it can get direct access to. And there's no, there's no water near sulfur, or is there water sulfur? Let's go on a little reconnaissance trip. We might be able to make that work, actually. Let's get the bugs out of our pocket. Icky. <laughs> All right, let me think about this. So, if we can get sulfur and water within range of an auto crafter. We might be able to get automatic fertilizer production going. It's gonna again, it's it's gonna be real small, I guess is the word, until drones unlock, but it'll be it'll be something and it'll be automated. Um And it'll be fun. That's the important thing. That's the important thing, yo, is it'll be fun. Okay, let's uh, let's eat one of those to top off our food. And we'll... Well, here, I'm not going to make that yet. Let, let's just go scope a couple things out. There is water. Um, oh, man, the trees. So cool. I'm thinking about turning this desert into a nice lush forest. Uh, because I think what's going to happen up here... I'm, I know, I'm getting completely sidetracked. I think that we're probably... The game's going to naturally... Oh, look at this, you guys. Put, uh, you know, a bunch of trees up here already as and and you know we can already see that happening so we could turn the desert down below into a forest as well we won't be able to really turn the ground green unfortunately well we we, we sort of could do that if we just use like a bunch of grass spreaders um, but we could turn this whole area down into a big lush forest. That might be kind of fun to do. Anyway. Um, there is water over here, not too far from the entrance to the sulfur biome. I just don't know if it's going to be close enough, though, is the thing. Um... You know, it's going to be completely based upon the range of the auto crafter. So we got a pretty nice little pond going on here, and this I think this may even end up getting a little bit deeper before it's all said and done, maybe? Uh, maybe not, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we could definitely put an algae collector right here with no problem whatsoever. It's just that this is quite a distance, though. Yeah, see, the sulfur doesn't... The sulfur doesn't work out here. I I had to go all the way over there and get into the yellow cloud before it picked up sulfur. I just don't see that working. I really don't. Um, the only way to know for sure is to actually set the machinery down and just see if the autocrafter detects it. We put it like somewhere in the middle. We might be able to, uh, might be able to pull this further over. Let's replenish our O2 here. Alright, let's 
let's just see what the closest possible spot is for this. Turn it this way. Yeah, see, it's picking up iron right there. Let's move it back a little further. Still iron. See, I went through this exercise earlier uh, when I originally put this down. Still iron. One of the things that really got me excited about this game when I first played it was when I discovered how elaborate, relatively speaking, the whole production chain system is in the end game. I, I didn't even know it did that at all. And I uh, was uh, pretty happy because, you know, I like that kind of... Okay, here we go. I like that kind of stuff. You know, it's kind of satisfactory vibe, that sort of thing. All right. We might as well bring some stuff back with us. We don't need magnesium and we don't need titanium. We need iron and silicon. Okay, and cobalt. All right, let's do this. Let's put... I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. We'll put an auto crafter right about here. Because that's about the halfway point. We'll put an algae machine in the water here. And we'll see if the auto um, crafter can detect both of them at that range. I don't think it will, but it might. If it does, then we'll also put a water collector down here. And then we can tell the auto crafter to just automatically make bacteria for us. Uh, I'm sorry, fertilizer. Well, no, bacteria, that's going to be easy because that can all happen at the water. So this one would be for fert, which means we also need to put you know, some um, food growers with some eggplant, which is easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, guys, uh, we're back and uh, we have a an osmium storm going on right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to place an algae collector in the water here. Um, tier two and I guess we'll put it right there. I don't want to re restrict the amount of algae it can create. And then we're going to come about halfway up here. Can I set this on the ground? I cannot. I'll bet you we can set it on a foundation, though. Let's just find a piece of iron. Okay, so... Probably right about here, I'm thinking. Let's get it. Right there. Alright, and then we'll set this guy down. Where did it go? It's right here. Okay. Right. Nope. Yeah, it's not in range of either one of them. I, that's what I figured. Okay. Well, at least we tried it and we, we know the situation now. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to fully automate a um, a fertilizer production until we get drones. Because there's just no other water that I can think of that's close enough to to sulfur. There's no water at all down in here. Um, there is a place, there is a place over at the waterfall. That's right. We can do this. You guys, we can totally do this. I forgot. You can, you can extract sulfur right at the waterfall, right where their big lake is. Okay. Um, think, 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 think. 
Oh, I don't have any water on me. Shame on me. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's take this thing down. Um, I'm going to put... What do we need for... Uh, what if we should make a tier two? Well, for... Eh, yeah, see, we are going to have another problem now that I think about this more. Um, the the extractor is going to fill up with the other types of ore too. And without drones, I don't know of any way to automatically pull it out. So it's going to basically get clogged up. So we should probably, instead of using a tier one, we should probably use a tier two. So at least we have a little more space. And I think the tier twos are more efficient at getting the main ore and less byproduct. Purple storm or super storm? Normal storm. Uh, no. Super storm. Shit. This is not a good place for that to happen. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna have to risk it because the stuff's gonna disappear really fast. Uh, this is such a bad place for this to happen because of all the cloud cloudiness too. And we're in a, a canyon. <laughs> this is the worst place for this to happen. I mean, seriously, you can't. I don't, it's not even possible to get up there, as far as I know. Trying to get some of it to land over here where I'm at. All right, here's here's a little bit here. At least some of it's coming down the mountain. Yeah, game. That was shitty timing. Just saying. Bad timing for your super storm. All right, here, we got a bunch along the wall here. And also I'm breaking the fucking rules because I don't have a water bottle on me. So we got to keep an eye on that. We don't have a lot of time. Let's see if we can spot anything out in the in the dust here, but that's going to make it difficult. There's a piece. Yeah, that was just bad timing. There's nothing for it. It's just bad timing. But, you know, it's not a complete loss either. We're getting a few pieces. I think it's probably mostly disappeared by now. Is there any water in here? No, but we'll take that stuff because that's damn good stuff. Okay, well, we need to skedaddle um, because of our water situation. So grab all of that. That's all basic stuff. We'll just leave it there. Um, do I have... Um, I don't have enough room to grab. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to have to come back, do an extra trip. Because I just don't have room. And if we don't go now, we're going to have some water issues. Okay, but the good news is we can make this work over at the waterfall. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to get all the stuff together that I need to make the auto extractor a tier 2 ore extractor. I'm, I'm sorry, the auto crafter. Tier 2 ore extractor. Um, we'll get a cup. We'll, yeah, I know it's low. We'll get a couple of. Oh, look. Oh, nice. Okay, we need that for tree trees. I should make sure I go around and pick up all this osmium too. Okay, so what? Sorry, I <laughs> know I'm all over the place here. Uh, let's see, we need auto extract, auto crafter, 
tier two are extractor, algae generator, and I'd say probably at least four eggplant, maybe four to six. Eggplant, um, you know, food processors, and then we should be able to automate a, uh, our fertilizer. Now, we are going to have to still manually, you know, go over there and, and clear out the, uh, the byproduct because there's just, I can't think of any way that I can do that automatically without drones. But I mean, still, it, it'll, it'll start producing fertilizer for us because we're going to need a bunch of fertilizer for all kinds of stuff. And then I'm going to set up a second one, which we'll do just right over there, uh, to make bacteria for us. That one's going to be lemon squeezy. In fact, maybe what we'll do, let's do that one first, and then we'll set the other one up in the next episode, just because we're, you know, time's getting away from us here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right. So we, now we've decided that. Um, let's see. We'll put the... I'm just going to put everything away for the moment, and then we'll figure out what we need. Just because that's kind of the way my brain works. I have a... Uh, I'm not very good at multitasking. <laughs> i got to do one thing at a time. It's just, you know, like I said, it's just the way my brain works. Um, We'll put that in there. That's Even though that's technically a flower, it's really more for trees. So, well, yeah, but same thing for the Arimas. Yeah, we'll, we'll just put them in there. Okay. Let's run upstairs and put this sulfur away. Yeah, I'm so glad I remembered that we could do the uh, lake, you know, for that stuff. Since we have an extra um, fertilizer or sulfur, um, let's make a fertilizer. We have two extra sulfur? No, one extra sulfur. Um, eggplant and three algae. Yeah, okay. All right, we still recovered a, a excuse me, a decent amount of super from that storm. It wasn't a total loss. It was just such a bad spot for it, though, you know? But nothing we could do about it, so... Okay. So... Um... We're gonna need that other auto-crafter and, and the algae... Uh, you know, uh, the algae generator that's over there. So we're just gonna leave that stuff there, because that's the stuff we're gonna move over to the waterfall. That means we need to make an, uh, no, we don't need to make another algae generator, but we do need to make a water, um, this guy, a lake water collector. Okay, so we're going to need three bioplastic, a super, an aluminum, and a mag, it looks like. Uh, there's a super in there, too. Okay, so we just need to go make some more bioplastic. Do we have... New mushrooms available? We do, look at that. Okay, I think we need silicon as well. So I think it's two mushrooms to one silicon. So let's do, let's grab four silicon. One, two, three, four. And there's, uh, I think it's water, right? Pretty sure it's water that we need for the other part of that situation just trying to think how we might be able to automate that without drones we let's let's not get ahead of ourselves <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll think about that later um okay i need an extra shroom and there we go okay and we need to make a bioplastic locker. So give me three iron there. 
guess it doesn't really matter what side we put it on. We'll put it over here, I suppose. We can still get through here, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, we need to keep three with us. And we have everything to make the water thingy. Okay, good. Let's drink a water and put the extra water in there. Okay, so we need to make another auto crafter. So that means we need eight supers. Two, three, four, five, eight, right? Yeah, eight. We need another aluminum. It's happening again. All right. <laughs> uh, put everything in here. Save the game so we don't die. Let's go grab as much of this as we can. Yeah, those storms are very close together. Oh shit, food! I got about I forgot about food! You guys were probably yelling at the screen. I completely forgot about food. All right. Well, we lost one water, one oxygen, and some free super that was free in the first place. So I wouldn't call that a disaster, but it still sucks. Save, resume. All right, let's see if we can pick up a few more of these. They're still coming, so that's good. It's just, uh... Hard to keep track of all this stuff all the time, man. That's all there is to it. I wish that, um, I'm not going to pick up that larva right now. I wish that, I think it's, I think it's gone now. Nope. There's a piece right there. Got it. I wish it stuck around a little bit longer. Because the problem with it is that it, you got to drop everything that you're doing and immediately go after it. And that's not always convenient <laughs> or practical. But, I mean, I don't know. It, it's, it's very, very generous in terms of the quantity it gives you. It just doesn't give you any fucking time to get it. <laughs> Hardly any time, you know. So that's the trade-off, I suppose. All right, I believe it's probably all gone by now. But we still recovered a decent amount, you know. We probably, had I not died, we probably could have gotten maybe a full inventory of it. So not a complete loss, you know. Um, did we... Okay, yeah, so I had put all that stuff in there. If we would have lost the super alloy rod, that would have been... A much worse situation, but we didn't, so we're good. Um, all right, so we need four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make the rod. We need the bioplastic and the mag and another super and another aluminum. There we go. Okay, so that gives us the water collector. Um, now we need for the auto crafter, we need two Oz's. We're, we're going to need at least a platform out there. 
Um, if not, also a shed to put everything in. The shed would be nice just for the for the oxygen. So yeah, let's take uh, stuff to make a shed. So we're gonna need. We'll make a, a crafting a tier two crafting station too. So we're gonna need that stuff. We need two of those, two of those, and four iron to make all of that stuff. And let's also take three more iron for a storage, our first storage bin. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we'll put the shed. There. We got the incubator. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, bees are just around the corner. Bees are very important because bees will then lead to the high-end food, which is both going to be good for us to eat, but also later on uh, for selling purposes. All right, so that gets us set up there. Um, oh, let's put the auto crafter in place. I think we'll put that over on this side and in this corner here. Now, what are you doing? More Oz, okay, I'll take it. Not complaining about that at all. And then we need to get the water. Um, where is it? Here. The water generator. That can go right at the edge there. Okay, so if we look at this, it's picking up the lake water collector. Why isn't it picking up the algae collectors? Does it need to be closer? I figured that would be in range. Maybe these don't, these have a, a smaller range than I gave them credit for. Oh, does it not work with algae collectors? Are they really that far away? Um, okay. Hmm. This is going to be a frog pond later. I kind of don't want to cover it up. Let's just do let here. Let's do this. Um, all right, now we'll we'll put it here. Now, before we set anything else down, let's just put the auto crafter back down again. It can pick up larva. I'm starting to think it doesn't work on algae collectors. Because, here, let's try another experiment. If we put the water generator all the way over here, which is further away than those guys are, Well, okay, I guess it's still theoretically possible that it's too far away. We're going to have to get it closer. Can we build these in? Oh, that's interesting. You can build it right on the surface of the water, huh? Okay. 
Okay. You can't get any closer than this. It does. Okay. It does work. Look at that. It does work. Um, It's just that, like I said, it, it's got to be a lot closer than I thought. Okay. Let's go grab this. Oh, I should I should have pulled the water out of it first, but whatever. Okay. Um, let's just set you. I, I'm gonna do this in a in a neater way. Um, I'm just I just want to confirm that it's actually gonna work. Okay, so let's pick up the water collector and the algae. So now we should be able to tell it to make bacteria for us. While we're here, um, you know what we could, uh, what else we could do is we could set one up by our tier one ore extractor right by the base and just have it make super alloy for us. Well, no, we can't because of aluminum. Yeah, that's not gonna work unless we just have. A, I'd have to think about that. No, we could do this. We could actually do this in the in the aluminum fields. Because it's going to pick up all of that stuff. All right. Well, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. I mean, there's the th the thing that's really cool about the auto crafters is they open up all kinds of possibilities, right? So it's just a matter of thinking them through. You know, which one you want to do. Uh, all right. Anyway, we're doing bacteria here. So if we select that, it should start making bacteria for us as soon as the the water collector um, makes its first thingy of water, which shouldn't be too long from now. But um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to kind of redo this a little bit so it's a little neater than the current setup. Because it's kind of janked the way it is right at the moment. Okay, so that's got a water in it now. Um, oh, it needs three water. That's right. Yeah, it needs three water. I was thinking I only needed one, but it needs three. Having, um, having this shed here is probably going to block some of the algae production. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to have to wait for this to to get three water, and then it should work. So I'm going to wait until I can, you know, I can say with a certainty that this is going to work. I'm 95% sure it's going to work. I don't see why it won't, but let's just confirm that for sure. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything up, and maybe we'll, we'll do... Hmm. The direction is going to be weird, but maybe we'll put like uh, uh, some foundations out into the water, make like a, a little dock almost, if you will, and then we'll put the algae collectors off to either side of it and try and set it up in such a way that it's, um, you know, not going to block the the algae production. Yeah, have to think about that. Okay. So, um, l while we're waiting for that, I guess let's go around and, and pick up Oz and Sulfur. And I'll bring you guys back when the first bacteria is created. Oop. We'll grab a few more larvae too. We are going to need them. Um, I want, I need an uncommon though. So, I'm not going to load up too much on... The, the common ones, because they're just all over the place. We'll probably, in fact, I probably won't pick up any more common ones at the moment, but it, it did seem to detect that there was an uncommon somewhere in this area. Could be down in the water, actually.
Hmm. Yeah, okay, here we go. No, that's just a common. Yeah, I don't know. Not seeing it. It's possible that it glitched into the terrain. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, um, you have... Oh, it did it. Okay. It, it must have just pulled the water out of there. And huzzah, we've got an auto-created bacteria sample. Beautiful. Okay, our very first automated production, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm going to say next? It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, very good. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Go around, pick up the rest of the Oz and Sulfur, redo that uh, so it's neater. And then the plan for the next episode is for us to set up our fertilizer production uh, facility, which we will do over at the waterfall. I am actually going to do one more thing before I let you guys go. Um, let me just put a couple things away real quick. Uh, we're just going to run over and see if the pass to the waterfall is open. I'm pretty sure if it's probably not fully opened up, but it's probably opened up enough for us to be able to get through it. Uh, oh, wow, we've got a huge overage of sulfur now. Okay, I'm just gonna stick that stuff in there. Okay, let's just run over there real quick and see if that pass is open. And we'll also stop off at the uh, aluminum fields along the way because I'm pretty sure this extract over here is picking up all six of, you know, the five basics and then aluminum, which to me is like one step up from the basic ore. And if it is then we can just have this auto-create super alloy for us. So we've got titanium, silicon, iron, cobalt. There's no magnesium in here. Is that just because it didn't grab at that time? Yeah, it has, it has, it can get it. It just didn't this on this particular cycle. All right. So I'm going to set another auto crafter in here and just tell it to make super force because why not, right? I'm not using this ore for anything else. I have a huge surplus of aluminum right now and, you know, we're, we're, we still need it, but we don't need it as much as we used to. And uh, that way we can, you know, just turn all of this stuff into uh, super. Because super is the one thing we're going to just always need. All the way to the very end of the game, you need super alloy like crazy. It just nonstop. Haha, <laughs> look at that. It's starting to open up. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm positive we can get through there uh, with our jetpack. But it'll eventually open all the way up and there will be a nice little pathway that we can just walk, walk right through there. Um, This would really be a better place for us to set up our algae production. It's just that it's so much further away from the base is the thing, you know. Uh, but I'm still planning on doing that over here on a larger scale when we get drones. So I think we'll hold off on doing that until we do get drones. Um, because we need algae for bacteria and we need it for fertilizer. We either need it directly or at least its products for mutagen. And maybe a couple other things too. So it'll, it, you know, it'll just make sense for us to do that. That root's sticking out the edge of the cliff. All right, guys, so I'm going to let you go here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Look at this. This is so cool. I don't think these trees were over here in the early access version. Wow. Okay. Um, I do need to mind my food here.
It's a little bit on the low side. Look at this, man. This is new. This stuff wasn't here before. There's even water down here now. Mm, so cool. All right, yeah, I got a scooch. We'll fi we're fine if we go now. There's another Arima plant. Let's grab it. Actually, no, we're fine. We're, we have a little more time, but still, let's get back. All right, anyway, I got to let you guys go. Catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.